Hello, so we are back. And this time we have a nice laptop to repair. Toshiba i5 CPU, it's a Toshiba Tecra Z50. A classic laptop. Now the problem with this one, I have the customer letter here. Toshiba Tecra, it will not boot into the into BIOS, power to the motherboard okay, but nothing when power button is pressed. So it looks like the customer uh, diagnosed a little bit the laptop, so the power is fine, but nothing happened when you press the power button. Got it. And I have another paper from the customer saying that hard drive, the SSD, has no uh, operating system on it. So I will say, let's test and see what it's doing. I mean, I think it's safe to plug the power. You have a classic uh, round pin Toshiba charger. Let me plug a charger. Yeah, that's the one, that's the one, big round pin. Power supply, 19 volts. Hopefully we have some current there. Plug in the charger. And it's doing nothing. Let me check that, no current, nothing. Pressing the power button, nothing. Pressing the power button and actually the laptop it is coming on. Or it's not coming on. This is the charging current. Yeah, 300 milliamps is the charging current. Pressing the power button. No, nothing. Nothing, dead. Okay, let's open the laptop and have a look inside. I mean, check here, yeah? I mean, the old laptops, they have detachable battery. Such a nice concept. But these days, you can't find something like that. Okay, so I'm plugging the battery and the current is going down to 10 milliamps. Yeah, so that current was going into the battery. 10 milliamps is fine, pressing the power button and nothing happened. Good, let me open the laptop quickly. Now, because the laptop is charging, we can assume the AC chip is good. Doesn't necessarily mean it's good, but looks fine, yeah? So it is speaking with the battery, it is speaking with the power management chip. So it's doing some job. And the laptop, it's open. Yeah, that's a nice motherboard. Lol, what is that? That's the AC chip. Hmm. Okay, that kind of sucks because I uh, I don't remember to have or to work with this kind of uh, SMC chip. SMC. Actually, the chip is SMSC. SMCS, yeah. It's a MEC chip. Yeah. So, how we are approaching this repair? Mm -hmm. by checking the coils to ground that oh what is here what is this huh not sure if you can see this is some kind of liquid here is it liquid damage i mean yeah this is the you know in a dummy dvd case but having some liquid is not good here we have some liquid, and this is a sweet liquid. I can feel it. You know what? Uh, I will say the best uh, the best way to approach this repair is to take the motherboard out because if we have uh, like liquid damage, you know, we have to find first and clean. But still, the liquid damage is on this side of the board. Yeah, yeah, check here. Check here, here, here. So yeah, the liquid damage came from the back. Okay, then there's no point taking the board out. But we can check this side of the board. So what do we have here? Everything is looking fine. Looking fine. Here we have some liquid on that coil, but that's not important. Looking good. Bios chip looking good. 
Not sure what is this. Thermal, if it's thermal paste, it's fine, you know. Uh, I'm afraid to like not be like liquid metal, but it's not liquid metal. It's fine. All good, looking fine. We have one, two, a five. I'm assuming this is the uh, three point three LDO, but it's it's working because uh, it's charging the battery. Here is some liquid damage here, but here is not really important. It's a big truck there. Here is looking good. Yeah, you know what? The board is looking is looking fine. Uh -huh. Okay, let's check the quills. So checking the quills, this one is fine. Eight ohms looks fine. Nine ohms looks fine. Is looking fine, fine, fine. Everything is looking fine. This is the charging coil. Um, let me check the battery voltage. I'm curious because the battery was taking like low current. Let me plug the charger. Plug in the charger. It's charging with 300 milliamps and we have 13.7. And this battery has 14.8. Wait, so the voltage is, is low, actually. It's not like the battery is charged, it's fully charged. We have a fuse here with the battery. So the voltage is low. Okay, that's fine. Let's see what current do we have. Four amps, lol. Too much. Okay, coming with current onto the battery and it's charging with 2 amps. Yeah, the battery is fine, check that. The voltage goes up to 15.6. Yeah, that was pre-charged current. That, that's the reason why it was not taking uh, that much current. Good, and now the battery is charging with 300 milliamps. 320. Hmm? Why free Tony? I just push on some current into this battery. Okay, let's raise the current. Three amps. Yeah, let's see now. You know the charge current is two hundred milliamps. One, two, three, four, four cells. And we have 14.3, 14.2. This is kind of strange, but anyway, let's focus on uh, our repair. Yeah, so the main power rail has 19.1. So the main power rail is present. The voltage on the 3 volts and 5 volts, we have 0. Yeah, 0, 0. Good. Uh, we have a BIOS battery. I mean, we can try to reset the BIOS, but probably the customer did already. I'll plug in the BIOS battery, short in the BIOS battery. Good. BIOS battery is plugged again. I don't want to plug the battery anymore. I want to start the laptop without the battery, and it's taking 20 milliamps. 20 milliamps is kind of high, and it's taking 400. One second, so the laptop is on. The laptop just started. Why the laptop start? Because we reset the BIOS. So what does it mean? It's a BIOS issue? 
most of the people they will think okay this was a frozen bias but i'm not seeing it like that yeah so what i'm seeing i'm seeing a faulty uh, power button and that's the reason why the laptop was not coming on when i was pressing the power button let's wait for the picture taking 400 uh, 400 milliamps by seeing the current changing so I'm assuming the laptop e tool come on. 370. CPU slightly warm. I never seen something like that. So this is metal and we have an M2 drive there. Interesting. And we have no picture. You know what? I believe this fault is caused by the customer. No, the laptop is restarting. No, the laptop is not restarting. It's, it's gone. Pressing the power button, nothing happened. So we reset the BIOS. We have no picture. And the laptop shut down itself. Yeah. And you'll think some like some weird issues or BIOS things. No, I'm thinking on a stack power button that's what that's what i'm seeing a stuck power button can we figure it out yeah we can so the power button is here on this tiny board so from this board what do we have we have a bunch of wires like normal wires which they are going they are going to this connector let's have a look under the microscope so that's what we have here, and the power button uh, is going to the other side of the board. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, going to the other side of the board. <sighs> okay, and you will say, sorry, let's test your theory. This is the long connector. Okay, so testing my theory. My theory is very easy to be tested. If we are unplugging, just assuming we have a stuck power button if we are unplugging this connector yeah let's unplug it and we reset the bias again the laptop should come on without shutting down and we should have picture also right yeah uh what is that what is that check there check there huh liquid damage liquid damage on the power uh, on the power connect okay okay let's see but you know i was right i was right so i'm plugging the bus battery shorting the thingy plugging the so we plug the charger on the laptop is coming going straight away like normal why this is not sitting here properly? Waiting for picture. If we have no picture, you know I can't trust this board. I have to take the board out and check for liquid damage on the other side of the board. No, we cannot trust this board. But at least the laptop should not shut down. Or maybe because we still have liquid damage on the other side of the board. Can be can be well, let's wait still no picture but we have 3.3 we have 5 volts we have 1 volt we have 0 0.8 we have nothing here and that's fine we have 1.352 here. Uh, yeah, we still have no... And the laptop shut down. Okay, that's not right. Yeah. Uh, we still don't have picture, but we know we have liquid damage on the other side of the board. Let's take the board out. And the motherboard, it's out. Yeah, we do have more liquid damage. Check here, 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 here. Hmm? But how the liquid get here? 
I mean, you see, it didn't get here from the keyboard. So probably from one side of the laptop. Let's have a look. So here is the power button, and indeed we can see some liquid damage. Then here we have some fingies, which doesn't matter. Capacitors. BQ chip. Yeah, that can explain the low charging current. Check here. Yeah, check here. Yeah, that capacitor, we have the BQ chip with the, with the liquid on it. That can explain the low charging current. Then here we have some liquid over the board where you can't see it. And here we have some liquid over the motherboard. Yeah. Good. You know what? It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Let's try to clean it. Yeah. We need the toothbrush. No, because it's sweet. Right? It's sweet. Yeah, it's sticky. That means sweet liquid. You cannot clean with alcohol. We have to clean with water. My uh, fizzy water. Perfect for this job. And I will put just a little bit on top of this, yeah? Probably you can't see. Yeah, like that. Just a little bit. Perfect. And we're going to clean the board with water. Because only with water you can clean it. If there was a sweet uh, liquid damage. Water. Water everywhere. Yeah, all good. And a little bit here. Yeah, that's all. That's all. Perfect. Here is perfectly clean. Here. Here a little bit. And the connector itself. Maybe I'm missing something. Hopefully I'm not missing anything. Let's be sure about that. Yeah, let's clean it all. Perfect. Okay, now I'm sure it's no liquid. Good, let's check to the damage capacitors. So we have some damage on the BK chip, and now the BK chip looks like new. We have some damage on that capacitor, this one, but this looks good. Yeah, <laughs> it hasn't, has no plate on it, but it looks good. Then here is looking fine. Here is looking fine, but look, check that track. Check that track. Huh? Do you think that track is good? Your opinion. Can't hear you, huh? This one from here to here, no, nah, it's gone. It's gone. It's not beeping. You can see. So this is only this. This is gone. This one is good. Not sure what is here, but this one looks good. Yeah, it's good. Now, this resistor, I'm interested in if still good, but looks good. This resistor looks good. But we can check that. So the resistor from here to somewhere, yeah, we have like 100 kilo ohms. No, we have one kilo ohm. Check on the screen, yeah? One kilo ohm. So the resistor, it is good. Okay, then let's use a little bit of rosin and proper calibrated wire. Uh -huh.
Rosin, Rosin is good, perfect. And my wire. which has to come from here perfect here hey come on just sit there and relax perfect check that oh. a perfect soldering job what do you think Hmm? What do you think about that? Perfect. Yeah, we can clean. We can clean. It's pointless to clean because this is rosin. So actually, it's a good isolator. But yeah, we can do it. Good. Everything is fine. So what do you think? It will work or not? Hmm? That's my question. We have those uh, MUX, yeah? Mixers. They are switching from like... VGA, HDMI to screen port. Uh, hopefully the reason why we have no picture is because of this. We're all gonna see it soon. Now the board is fine, let's clean the connector. Does the power button connector. Good, all clean. Then we have a little bit of liquid damage here. And this is clean also. Perfect. Good. Then we have some liquid damage on this uh, plastic foil. Perfect, see, it's all clean. Let's dry the board. Perfect. The foil. The foil is back on place. Let me quickly put the board back. You know, I'm curious if the power button is still good. I mean, that connector. Even the power button, yeah. So I will say let's just put a few connectors and test again. Okay, all connectors are back. Let me plug the power. Come on, just sit there. Perfect. Let me plug the power. So plug in the power and the board is taking power, yeah? 400 milliamps, same like before. Nothing changed actually. Nothing changed. Hopefully you're gonna have picture. But we'll see. It's switching off because the BIOS battery is not plugged in. Switching off again. Yeah, yeah, I can hear the fan. Uh, the current is 410 milliamps. I bet it's working. Let's wait. 370. 370. But still no picture, okay. This is proper strange. And why no picture? Yeah, the CPU is warm. Why no picture? That's my question. And the laptop switched off. Pressing the power button, and the laptop is coming on when I'm pressing the power button. Hmm? What do you think about that? Coming on in no picture. RAM memory, you said? Okay, let me switch it off. Switched off. 
The RAM memory is looking fine. Yeah, we can plug the RAM memory here. Pressing the power button, it is coming on and it's taking 480 milliamps. Never seen this current before. 500, check there, 500. Those are good news. Good news. 510. But still no picture. Why is taking more current if I plug the RAM on a different, a different slot? No, we don't have picture. Caps lock. Oh, lol, we have caps lock. Check there, check there, check there, caps lock. Means we are looking on the wrong place. <sighs> That means the board is fully working, if the cap lock is working. So uh, we should have a look for uh, backlight voltage. Yeah, let's check. I can't see picture. That's the thing. That's strange. Let's see the screen connector. Does the screen connector... No, this is the fuse from the input, what you see here. Yeah, you see that fuse? Yeah, it's from the input. The screen is here. Yeah, let's unplug the screen. Don't do it with the battery plugged in, yeah? Keep in mind. So we have, yeah, let's see the voltage. What do we have here? We have 19.4, lol. We do have voltage. We have voltage. Hmm. Do you think it's a faulty screen? I mean, the connector is looking good inside. Check here, there's no liquid damage. Let's uh, let's plug a high HDMI on the on the laptop. Let's see we have HDMI. So we have the HDMI from the microscope. Let's press the power button and the laptop is on. And we have picture. Sadly, we have the picture on HDMI, but it is what it is. It's still better than nothing. Yeah, we have picture, but not on the screen. Screen is still dead. Hmm. So what we are doing, we know the laptop is good. The power button, it is working. Pressing the power button and the laptop is switching off, you can see. So the power button, it is working. The charging, yeah, we can check that. We can check that. Let's plug the battery. Plug in the battery. And we have 290 milliamps. Let's see if it's going up. No, it's not going up. Okay, how we are checking the charging? You have a current sensor here. You can see it here. So basically, in order to see if the charger, if the, uh, we can't have, we don't have microscope. One second. Okay. Uh, in order to see if the current is controlled, yeah? We are shorting the current sensor. And the current is doing nothing. Coil with capacity, check there, yeah? We have 350 milliamps, yeah, 360. So uh, shorting the current sensor and the current is going up means uh, the current is followed, is controlled, yeah? It's not like uncontrolled current into the battery. <sighs> I think on the last video, if I remember, the last video yeah, was the same. It was like a, like a screen issue. And we end up having exactly the same fault. Having multiple faults, actually. Multiple faults. Yeah, I do believe this board is working. Actually, it's a fault with the screen.
like how I said last time, you have no picture. That's fine. I can, I can understand. There should be things like that, bad brand, I don't know. But we don't have light. Yeah, backlight. Backlight have nothing to do with the picture. I mean, have something to do in the case the board is not working. Obviously, there will be no backlight. But this board is working. Yeah? So we should have backlight. And we don't. Okay, let me put the screws back. And then we can check the screen. Yeah, we have no choice. We have to go to the screen. Can be liquid damage there? Can be. Can be. Okay, let me plug the BIOS battery because everything is fine here. And I will put the back cover. And we are going to work on the screen. Good. Okay. Let's open the screen then. This must be a classic screen, right? Yeah, it must be. Yeah, and the covers are coming out. Yeah, now it's fine. And we have two screws here. Actually, we have more, but we are looking to take out only the plastic frame. And the plastic frame, it's out. Now check there the screen. I mean, wait a second. Actually, the screen has the plastic cover. Yeah, it's sticky. It's sticky. Uh, the screen is coming out straight away. The connector is not even plugged in. Lol. Okay. So if we are plugging the connector... The laptop should work. What do you think? So the connector, it is plugged in. Do you think actually someone checked the screen uh, when the laptop stopped working, believing actually it's a screen issue? Okay, I cannot take that metal bridge. Yeah, this one. Yeah, now it's fine. And if we are putting the metal thingy, uh, the connector, it will stay in place. Yeah, like that. Yeah, now we are fine. Let's test the laptop. So, plug in the power here, pressing the power button, and the laptop it is coming on, check there, and come on, come on, we have no picture, that's crazy, I mean nothing. But we did plug the connector. We did plug the connector. No, the laptop is working. Yeah, the cuffs look it's working. We did plug the connector. Check there. The connector it is plugged in. Yeah. I mean, I think the connector is plugged in. Let me check. Actually, it's not plugged in properly. Yeah, we have... Uh, we have this metal thingy here. What is that? No, it's not liquid damage here, no. Once... Oh, okay, now it's making sense. No, 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 it's not me. It's not me. It's not me. It's not... 100% it's not me. Someone else were here. And that pin just fell down. And that pin is needed. This pin is needed. Ah, that sucks. Okay, what that pin is doing? It's going somewhere. Hmm. Okay. Let's plug the connector one more time without that pin. And 
and now it is plugged in properly metal bridge let's see one more time Pressing the power button, and nothing happened. I mean, if that pin is needed, why we have no backlight and no picture also? Why both are missing? That's my question. No, nothing. We don't have picture. No. Okay, let's go to the inverter. Let's check for the inverter voltage. I'm curious to light up the screen to see what, what picture is there. If it's any picture. So I'm going to press the power button onto the laptop. Okay, so the laptop is on. And the voltage we have here is 19 volts. Yeah, we do have voltage. We do have voltage. Uh, we have 3.3. Let's see here. We have 3.2. And that's fine. After the fuse, 3.2. So what's the story with the pin number one? What the pin number one is doing? Huh? We have no voltage. Probably it's not even connected. Okay, let's try something crazy, but should work. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna plug the battery. Good, perfect. Uh, and then I will lower the voltage, like three point something, very very low current. Three amps too much. Yeah, like that, like sixty milliamps. Okay, pressing the power button. The laptop is not coming on. Actually, the battery is discharged. I can't test. Okay, change of plans then. 19 volts. Some current there. Good. Pressing the power button. So on the connector on the pin number one, we have nothing. Uh, here, we have nothing. Wait, those, tr those tracks are going on the other side of the board. Here we have 3.2. 18 volts. 18 volts. 18 volts. So what this pin is doing then? Here is the high voltage. I really doubt they will put like a data track next to the 18 volts. Really doubt that. No, must be unconnected. Must be some uh, ground pin. Let's see. No, it's not ground. It's not plus either. Okay, you know what? I believe here we have a screen with two different faults. <laughs> Same like on the last video. So let me find a screen and uh, test it after that. But it's not much what I can do. Yeah, let me find a screen. 
Same like the last time I sent Diana, uh, she picked up a screen from the computer shop I worked before. We have a brand new screen, check here, it has foil on it. So let's see if it's working, huh? I'm curious. We plug the screen. Perfect, let's see. Let me plug the power. Plug in the power, pressing the power button. It's taking current. And it's not working, that's crazy. Why? I can't believe it's not working. Power off. I can see. No, no, no. I can see the picture. I can see the picture. We don't have backlight. We have picture. Lol. <laughs> Make me feel bad, man. Make me feel bad. So actually. The issue is one signal which is coming from the EC chip because the inverter need high voltage, the main power rail. They need a dim signal, PWM dim signal and light on, which is always on 3.3. So one of these two signals is missing. Yeah, it, it it sucks. I can't believe how how I could be so wrong. The missing pin from um, the missing pin from the connector, probably not, because now it would be stupid for uh, for a manufacturer to put like a data line next to the nineteen volts. But we can check that here. We can check it. So beeping, and we have the first pin, right? Here, the first pin. No, it's not beeping anywhere. No, it's not beeping anywhere. But the old screen, yeah, check here, the old screen. We have a test point, LED enable, you can see. And also we have a test point, uh, PWM, you can see there, yeah. So let's check if these pins are reaching the, the connector. This is more complicated than I thought. So the LED enable, it is reaching the connector, but not the PWM. And I believe I've seen this before. I've seen this. So you see that big chip there, it's saying LG on it. Uh, I believe the PWM, which is the contrast, it's kind of dynamic contrast and the contrast is controlled by this chip not the contrast the actually the contrast yeah the backlight no the backlight intensity yeah which is kind of a constant contrast anyway so how we can approach this kind of thingy yeah i'm not even sure what is wrong here Clearly, it's not the screen. No, it cannot be that pin. No, forget about that. Yeah, just forget about that pin. That pin is going nowhere. And on the new screen, let me see on the new screen. You know what? Let me open the new screen. So on the new screen, we have picture, but no backlight. Okay, so on the new screen, we have LED enable and PWM. So I will connect the, the screen and I will check those signals.
Okay, the screen is connected. Good. Plug in the charger, pressing the power button. Let's see. The laptop is not coming on. Pressing the power button and the laptop is not coming on anymore. Pressing the power button and the laptop it is coming on. We have picture. That's crazy. That's cr I did nothing. I did nothing. I just opened this to check. I did nothing. Why now we have we have we have uh, we have backlight. We didn't have backlight before. Power on, and we do have backlight. Okay, let me swap the screen. Let me connect the other screen. So we connected the other screen. Let's see. With the original screen, we have picture. That's crazy. I done nothing. Yeah, it is working fine. It is working fine. Hmm? Yeah, exit. F10. Yeah. Yeah, it is working fine. Now we have no idea what was the problem with the screen. Yeah, we have no hard drive inside. But the system is, is fine, it's working fine. Yeah, all working fine. I still don't understand why the customer didn't told me, you know what, it's a liquid damage job. Hmm? No, he didn't say it's a liquid damage job. Anyway, the laptop is fixed. I can't believe actually it was quite a long job. And this is, you know, kind of an old laptop. Uh, definitely not worth the, the time I spend on. I mean, we are like, check here, we are like 1 hour and 24 minutes, check here. Uh, definitely not worth, but at least I fix it. You know what I mean? So, the laptop is fixed. We have no idea what was the problem with the screen. I can't even think. It was not working and suddenly started working. Both screens, yeah? Both screens. Even the second screen was not working on the beginning. But yeah, all good. I'm going to stop now. I will put it all back together and uh, see you on the next one. Bye. Hey, if you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button and you can get instantly access to our uh, members only cool collection and uh, discord private channels for support with your repairs also you can have a look on our uh, united kingdom uh, ebay where you can find some cool and unique products united states ebay store or our patreon page thank you